Hey team, today we're gonna to walk through building a travel bucket list mapping app with all of your favorite dream destinations. I'm Colby Fayok, and if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe below for future updates. We wanna build a mapping app where we can show our family and friends all of our favorite dream vacation destinations. To do this, we're gonna use a few tools. Like here, we're gonna use Gatsby Starter Leaflet, which will bootstrap a Gatsby app with Leaflet already installed. Additionally, we're gonna use Graph CMS, which will allow us to manage our locations from a CMS. To do that, we're going to get started with Gatsby Starter Leaflet. So we're going to go to our terminal and go Gatsby new my travel bucket list and then the repo URL and hit enter. Once it's done, we can go ahead and CD into the directory and then run Gatsby develop or yarn develop, which I'll use, which will start our site. And once our development server is done, we can go ahead and open up that link and we have our new Gatsby site. So before we do anything, I'm going to clean out some demo code from our index page, which is what we'll use. This is something that I included in the Gatsby starter leaflet just to give an idea of what you can do. So to start, I'm going to get rid of everything inside of this map effect function. This is really the meat of our demo code. I'm also going to alias this to map just to make it a little bit easier for us to read. Next, as I scroll up, we don't need this marker ref, so I'll get rid of that. We don't need this pop-up content or time as we already removed those instances as well as that first zoom, but not the default zoom as that's what we want to keep. We also want to get rid of Gatsby Astronaut as we won't be using him. These imports as we won't be using those. We can get rid of the L from leaflet and we can get rid of this use ref here. Finally, if we scroll back down to the actual components, we no longer need that marker ref, so we can get rid of it there. And once we hit save, we can open back up our browser and we can see our standard mapping app. Next, to manage our locations, we're going to use Graph CMS. And Graph CMS has a nice free tier that we're going to use as part of this project demo. So you can go ahead and sign up and create your own account, or if you already have an account, log in at this point. If this is your first time logging in, you probably won't see much, but what we're going to want to do is go ahead and click Create New Projects which will open up a dialogue where it's gonna ask us first what our name is. We can say my travel bucket list and we can give a description if we want. We can say the locations I want to travel to someday. And then for your region, you can really pick whatever's closest to you. It really doesn't much matter for this particular presentation, but since I'm in the Eastern US, I'll use US East then hit create project. On the next page is where you select your plan. Since we're just gonna go with this as a personal project, just to demo with, you can go ahead and select the personal one, which is completely free. And then you're dropped into your new project. So to get started, the first thing we wanna do is create a new schema that we're gonna use to create our content. So we wanna navigate over to the schema section, click that, we're gonna go ahead and create a new model. For us, each model is gonna represent our destination. So we can go ahead and just use the word destination. We can go ahead and leave the app ID and the plural app ID just as it is for now. We can go ahead and click create model. Once that's done, it's going to create our new destination model for our schema. So what we're going to want to do now is add the different fields that we're going to use for each of those locations. The first thing we want to do is add our single line text. We're going to click that. And for our name, we're going to just simply call it name. It's going to also use the app ID as name. We can leave that as is and click create. Next, we want to actually find the location. So we're going to scroll down on the right here and we're going to select map. This is going to be called location. Still leave the app ID the same and click create. So now for each destination, we're gonna be able to provide a name and we're gonna be able to provide a location. So now that we have our destination model, we wanna actually create some content. So you can navigate over to the content section in the sidebar. Here we don't have any data yet, so we wanna go ahead and create a new one. At this point, you can really add any location you want. So for me, I'm gonna add Rio de Janeiro. That's in Brazil. I'm gonna copy that value and paste it in the search for location and click search. And then I found it on the map. And once you're happy with your location and the instance of it on the map, we can go ahead and click save and publish. And click save and publish again. So this means now we have one destination as Rio de Janeiro for Brazil. But what if we want to add more? So we want to click the back arrow and we can go ahead and create as many new ones as we'd like. So I went through and created a bunch of destinations. I have places like Paris, France, I have Chiang Mai, Thailand, and even Rome, Italy. Again, you can really add as many as you'd like or you can come back later and add more. So now that we have all this data, we want to actually query it. So we're going to go back to our app. We want to query our data with GraphQL. So we're going to go ahead and kill our development server. And we're going to go yarn add Gatsby source GraphQL. Inside our code, we're going to want to open up our Gatsby config where we're going to configure that. So we're going to add another plugin entry, which is Gatsby source GraphQL. We're going to add options of type name GCMS, which is our graphs CMS, as well as a field name of lowercase GMCS. And then we're going to need our API endpoint. To find our API endpoint, we're going to go back to graph CMS. We're going to head over to the settings panel. We're going to go over to API access. And here we can already see our endpoint. But before we do that, we need to update our public permissions. So we want to select content from stage published. And then we want to hit save. 
which we can now then copy our endpoints. In our code, we can go ahead and replace that value. Once you hit save, we can go ahead and open back up our development server. If you open up back up your page at this point, you're not going to have anything there, but this is where we can now fetch our data since we're now querying it with GraphQL. To use our data, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new hook. That'll just make it convenient for us to use this data anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new hook. We're going to call it use destinations. And here, this is just in the hook index, so we can easily reference it anywhere. Then I'm going to create a new hook file. We're going to call it use destinations. I'm going to go ahead and paste this code in. The first thing we're going to do is import the GraphQL and use static query from Gatsby. We're going to use that to actually create a GraphQL query where we're going to query for our destinations. We're just going to grab our ID, name, and location as we set up before. And each of those locations are going to come up with a latitude and longitude, which we're going to use for our map. Then finally, we're going to destructure that content that we query and we're going to return it back for our, our hook use. Now with our hook, I'm going to go ahead and import it. So use destinations from hooks. Then at the top of the index page component, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. So we're going to say the destinations destructured from the use destinations hook. And then we can go ahead and console log that out just to see if it works. And if you follow along with me, we should now see our array and we should see our different locations. So now that we have our destinations, let's actually use this. So below our map inside our container, I'm going to add a new heading called my destinations. Then I'm going to create an, an ordered list where we're going to actually map through our destinations destinations map destination and that we're going to return a list element here we're going to grab the name from the destination and we're going to print it out before we move on let's set a key just so we don't get any warnings and we can go ahead and use that id and once we reload our page we can immediately see that list now it's not the prettiest thing ever it has a the dots on the side because it's not formatted, but let's fix that up real quick. Inside our home.scss file, we're going to go ahead and just scroll to the bottom. And under home start, which is a class that's wrapping it, I'm going to say the word list. We're going to say list style is equal to none. We're going to strip the padding. We're going to say the margin is 1.2 EM and zero. This makes it so that top and bottom margin is 1.2 EM and the sides is zero. And that's already looking a little bit better. Now we didn't set up this app just to list out the names, right? So we wanna actually add the markers. Under our map, we're gonna create a new map. So we're gonna map out from destinations, map, destination. We're gonna return a marker. But we need a location. So we're gonna destructure our location from our destination. We're going to structure our latitude and longitude from that location. With this, we need to create a position for our marker component. So we're going to say position equals latitude, longitude, and we're going to use that for our prop. Finally, similar to before, we want to set a key. So let's grab that ID, set the key to that ID. Now, if you reload your page, you can see that we have all of our markers with all of our different locations. One thing it doesn't do though, is if you click it, it doesn't do anything. So we wanna actually wanna know what those locations are. So at the top, we're gonna import the pop-up component from React Leaflet. Then back down with our marker, we're gonna create that marker out and we're gonna nest a pop-up. But we're gonna then use a name, which we're gonna take from the destructure. Now, once we reload our page and we click one of our markers, we can see the label and what that location is. Now, finally, as one last step, when you load the page, it's kind of off center, right? So it's not focused on the United States. So how can we fix that? At the top of the page with the demo code, there's still one last place. This is pointing to Washington DC. So let's point it to the center of the world. So we're gonna update our location to latitude zero and longitude zero. And again, if we load our map, we can now see it centered. So if you follow along with me, you should now have a mapping app with all your favorite dream vacations. From here, there's a bunch of things you can do, like you can style the map background with Mapbox, or you can change the look of each marker. Maybe you can check off each marker anytime you visit one. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.